what's gonna fail us due to a lot of people coming to me on my discord server and commenting on my youtube channel about g29 920 923 even having no force feedback and i spent a lot of time on fixed probably like five till now five logitechs in about a month or something now we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you how i fix it it works for windows 10 works for windows 11 it's gonna work for all three wheels with some specifications for g923 so do not skip the video i'll leave details and i will be explaining we're gonna go ahead very quick very quickly i'll show you the fix and all the links will be down in the description for what you need so don't bother about this for people that are looking for car x and there is not working have a video i'll also make a follow-up about that game and unplug your goddamn controllers they're messing up with the wheel without further ado let's go ahead and fix your problem all right fellas step number one will be to go to the search and go to control panel so once you go to control panel we go to an install program and we select something we press l we go down to anything any applications that start with l now we gotta delete logitech ghub and the gaming software if you have each one of them just delete all we gotta remove all the logitech it's gonna ask us do, uh, do we want to uninstall? We click yes. Now we gotta wait a bit for Logitech Gaming Software to uninstall. Takes a bit of time. There we go, it's complete. Once this is complete, we select Ghub. We're gonna uninstall Ghub as well. Click yes to allow it. Now we click uninstall as well. The reason why my screen goes black is because it asks me, do I really want to uninstall the application? Now, once this is good to go, step number two, fellas, will be to go to app data now hold windows button on your keyboard and r it will show up app data if you're windows 11 you're curious okay i, I can't figure out the shortcut i'll type it as well on the screen you can just use the search and type up data we're in the same folder two times now once you're in app data what you want to do is you select folder l and we're looking for all the logitech folders you see these three folders what we want to do is we want to get rid of all the information. Once we've deleted everything from app data, we go to this PC, we go to C, and we go to program data. You can see that this folder is hidden. So how to see hidden folders is you go to view and you go to hidden items and you see it disappear. So if you want to see program data, you go to view and tick hidden items. So it will show up all the hidden folders. We go to program data, we select something, we go to, we'll press L and you see there is one logitech folder and i'm gonna delete it if you have more logitech folder delete all the logitech folders step number three fellas we go to registry editor now we search registry editor and we're gonna run it as administrator it's gonna ask you you click yes to allow and now fellas now you get to this registry editor what we want to do is you go to h key current user we're gonna start here then you go to software we're gonna select something because I'm blind and let me see if there's anything regarding Logitech. There we go. So you see there's Logitech. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the Logitech. We're gonna delete it. Is there anything? No. If there is more Logitech stuff, make sure to delete them. So everything is deleted here. We go to H key local machine now. What we do is again, same folder, same software. We press L. And I do not have any Logitech folders, but if you do, make sure to delete them. So, once this is out of the way, fellas, we will be downloading this new, I've managed to dig it from the internet, this old Logitech software version from 2020. So you go to this link, link will be in the description, do not worry. It's an archive that I've uploaded, so you click on create download link. You're gonna wait five, six seconds. If any ads open up, just close them. You don't want the advertisements. Once the link is created, you click start download. It's gonna download. You can see I'm using WinRAR. You can download WinRAR from this website. I'm gonna link it down in the description so you can uh, literally have the same as mine. Now I've already uh, downloaded it and I have it prepared here on the disk uh, on the desktop. So what we're gonna do, fellas, is I'm gonna click right. I'm gonna right click it select the file right click extract here and this is the logitech ghub installer now i'm gonna run this I'm gonna ask you do you allow i click yes we're gonna install i'm gonna wait a bit and there's very something very important to do once you install this old version of logitech ghub gonna install and launch gonna wait a bit it's gonna take some time to load there we go now 
once we've launched it, click launch, uh, migrate all profiles, no, do it later, uh, no, get rid of this, get rid of that. You go to settings, fellas, and now you remove enable automatic updates. You don't want to update to the latest version of GitHub that was causing you problems. This is very important to do. Now, I want you to reconnect your wheel and your wheel will pop up right here in the middle. Your wheel will pop up in the middle of the screen. It will be the older software that shows the wheel, the shifter and the pedals of Logitech and you'll be good to go. Something uh, important for Logitech G923 is if this doesn't work with the older version, just repeat the whole process, delete all the data, but just install the newer, latest Logitech GitHub because some G29s from 2020 have older software, some might have a newer software. I had the same problem with my Trustmaster pedals, that's why Trustmaster support asked me uh, how, like, what version are your pedals, can you send us so we know what software they're on. It might be older production, it might be newer production, you never know. That's why these problems happen with GitHub. I've dig a lot of information, fellas, you can see right here, I've got a lot of information from like the tech support from Reddit and so on, that they respond to people and so on. Uh, I've dig a lot about this problem, so this is how to fix it. I really hope this fixed your issue. Feel free to comment down below, let me know if this helped you. Like and subscribe, it really helps me out. A lot of more fixes and guides will be on its way. Join my Discord down below, join our peaceful community down there. And fellas, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.